In this video I want to show you how to disassemble the Samsung Galaxy J6 and replace the broken display. I take the smartphone out of the box. Here we see the crack on the display. I am preparing a new display. I take it out of the package. I compare briefly. I turn on the hot air gun and set it to 70 degrees Celsius. And I start pointing it at the display. I heat the edges first, but it is necessary to heat everything. Then I mount the suction cup and I start peeling off the display by tucking this metal tool under the top of the display and pulling it around. Then I pull the suction cup to remove the display. And as you can see I removed the glass since the display was broken. It lost its integrity and did not separate along with the glass. Now I have to peel off the display with this metal tool. As you can see the display has this adhesive tape in the middle and around the edges. The goal is to get rid of it. I move the metal tool around and try to cut the glue with it, in places where I think the glue is located, and by glue I mean adhesive. Now that I've seen it has this white double sided tape, it is clear to me that, that the display has already been removed or replaced, and I'm starting to unscrupulously peel it off. This white glue is not original. I disconnect the flex connector holder and then the flex cable of the display. And I pull off the glass. Then I peel off this double sided tape. I also remove the original one. Here I have to be careful. What you see under the glue is the battery. It is very important that I remove all the traces of the previous display adhesive to keep the surface clean so that the new adhesive can stick to the housing. I also use tweezers to clean the edges and I scrape every tiny bit of adhesive from the housing. Of course I will shorten this video so that you don't have to watch the whole cleaning process, which takes tens of minutes. I take the new display and remove the foil from the flex cable and I connect the display to make sure everything works first. And fortunately it works. I unlock the smartphone, I lock it again. I take off the display again. While the smartphone is already disassembled, I decide to peel off the protective net of the earpiece to clean the dirt from the net. First I clean it with tweezers, then I use the good old contact spray. After that I take a needle and additionally dig the dirt from the pores. And I put the net back in place. I reconnect the display, I launch the phone app and type star hash zero star hash to run the Samsung's test menu. I'm testing the touch screen. Then the RGB test, so red, green and blue, more precisely to see if all the pixels work. And I run the earpiece test, as you hear. I run the main camera test, then test the proximity sensor and once again a touch screen test. Now test the speaker. Then the front camera. I also test the keys. Then I do one test call and I unplug the display again. And of course the cleaning of the old adhesive is not over yet. It's just boring. It's time to mount a new display. I remove the foil sheets from the adhesive on the new display. I plug in the flex connector. I check that the display still works. I mount the flex connector holder. I carefully mount the display, first the bottom side, then the top. I check that it fits everywhere. I apply pressure wherever the glue is.
I make another test call. I do all the tests again. And I line up a few books on the screen to leave overnight. Uh, but I didn't record this. Sorry. And that was it. If you liked this video, like it. If not, then don't. If you have questions, ask in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click that bell to get notified when there is a new video on the channel. Hepic is also present in other social networks. Links in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Until the next video.